Hi there, my name's Lisa Houghton and welcome to my first ever makeup video for YouTube. Yay! I'm super excited to be here and I was thinking, what should my first look be? And then I thought, you know what, just do something that is really close to your heart, something that you do on yourself and that you love to wear. And I figured, you know what, a 1970s inspired makeup look, that's my thing, that's what I do on myself. I love a little bit of a dewy skin, a little something on the eyes and it's really easy to do and I'm going to show you how. Okay, so I've prepped my skin using Lulu Organics Face Serum. It's a certified organic skincare line and um, I've got quite sensitive skin and I love face oils. I always have them in my kit and they make your skin look really lovely and glowy before you, you know you apply your foundation and it goes on so much easier. It gives your skin a lovely kind of like even texture to work with. So now I am going to use a foundation called Oxygenetics Foundation mostly because my skin is quite sensitive at the moment. It's winter, I'm looking a bit pasty, it's sensitised and this is great because it was actually designed for people that had some kind of trauma to the skin. So um, this is exactly what I need at the moment, something that's going to give it a little bit of tender loving care. And I'm going to go over my cheeks. I'm using a shade that is actually a little bit warmer than my usual skin tone because I just feel like I need a little bit of extra help at the moment. And um, it just kind of warms it up and makes me look a bit more healthy. Let's go on my forehead. Now I'm purposely using my fingers just to demonstrate to you how easy it is to blend. It's super easy and it has a really nice lightweight texture. It doesn't block your pores and it's kind of breathable on your skin. It feels almost like a moisturizer. And um, just making sure I'm going around my temples. Okay, now I'm going to use a little bit of concealer. I have a few pimples that I need to um, eliminate. My skin has got like quite a sheer sort of coverage at the moment, but you can actually build on this foundation to sort of like a buildable sort of sheer to medium coverage. Okay, so concealer. Right, I'm going to use one by Elizabeth Arden. I love this concealer. It's an 03 medium shade and it's beautiful. It's very kind of creamy and gives you very good coverage. And I have to say, I am a big fan of Elizabeth Arden. Their makeup is really good and I've been using I've been using their products for a long time. There's some really good pieces in their range. It's a little bit around my nose. Anyway. And their skincare is very good. I've been using that too for a long time, particularly Favage. Great skincare line. Right. Just a little bit more, just sort of dabbing my pimples. Okay. I'm actually going to use my concealer brush as well because I don't want to go over my skin too much because I don't want to lose the texture. And this is um, a makeup artist technique in that you pinpoint your pimples with a brush and that way your skin retains its natural texture and um, you don't end up with too much concealer. So literally just sort of pinpointing here. Go away pimples. Another one there. I love this concealer because it doesn't dry too sort of powdery and flaky like some do. It actually stays really nice on your skin. Um, gives your skin like a nice kind of creamy sort of texture. So you could actually wear it alone just by itself without foundation. Okay. And maybe 
be a hint under my eyes. I'm going to use Iconic London. This is really creamy and nice coverage, not too heavy. And I'm going to dab just a little bit there because I've had a little bit of a cold recently. I probably sound a little bit croaky today. And um, I've got a little bit of shadow just underneath my eyes. And I'm just tapping it with my finger. I'm not going too heavy and I'm using a creamy concealer because I do have a few sort of fine lines in there and um, anything sort of too dry is going to accentuate them so creamy is always a better option. Okay, so that's my skin. Okay, eyebrows. Now we all know how important eyebrows are in that they play a huge part in the symmetry of your face, they frame your eyes and they make a huge difference. And my feeling is if your eyebrows look great then everything else sort of falls into place. So I'm going to use a brand called Iconic London and um, it's kind of like, has a sort of a mousse-like texture and it comes with this little brush but I'm going to use my own because as a makeup artist I like to use I like to use my own tools um, but anyway I'm going to dip it into there's two shades a dark brown and a light brown and I'm going to use the light brown and um, sort of dip it in and I'm going to sketch it through my brow sort of starting in the center and taking it down so what I want to do is sketch it through my brow but I want to keep them very kind of natural looking so that they don't sort of dominate my look. It's almost like I'm just sort of polishing them, grooming them a little bit to make them look a little bit more defined, but not so that they're too sort of drawn on. And what I like about this particular eyebrow product, let me just tell you what this name is, Sculpt and Boost, is that it has a kind of a sort of fluffy, sort of velvety, powdery texture, um, which kind of makes your eyebrows look fuller and sort of natural, how they were before you plucked them when you were younger. You know, when you have those lovely big strong brows or sort of bushy brows. So it kind of emulates that. And I'm just sort of feathering it through. So you can see they still look very sort of natural looking. And, um, works really well. Just a little bit in here. Okay, other side. Just sketching it through. I'm now going to brush them up with another product by Iconic London. It's, it's kind of like a wax, sort of like a brow wax and it holds them in place really well. And it comes with this brush, really nice brush, just sort of swirl it in the wax and then brush them through. There we go. On the other side. And I do love a bit of a brushed up brow. And then just sort of go down here on the edges just here brush them down and this is called I should have said brow silk okay so that's my eyebrows done and I just want to point out my skin is just starting to get some really nice highlights along my cheekbone and it's really important when you do dewy glowy skin that the highlights remain here not here what you don't want to see is a greasy oily t-zone because there's a fine line between lovely dewy glowy skin and oily skin so let the highlights be here and maybe a little bit here but not here and if it gets too shiny later on i'm going to show you how to powder okay so now i'm going to do my eyes and i'm going to use a dark brown eyeshadow by revlon i'm going to use this shade and I'm going to sketch along my lower lash line and I'm sort of going to put my brush in the shadow and then dab it so that it doesn't fall. Okay, so now I'm going to sketch along my lash line and the reason I love to use shadow is because 
it's very easy to work with and it's a little bit softer than black liquid eyeliner which actually looks amazing but takes a little bit longer to to sort of to sketch to maneuver because well, it's a bit more tricky so and can you see it's already starting to sort of come together you can see the line so make sure you tap now the lower lash line and um, I always like to do a little bit underneath my eyes because I feel that it really sort of makes my eyes look much stronger and I personally feel that I need a little bit of extra help to sort of bring me back okay a bit more there so you can see how quick that was it takes literally just a couple of seconds okay maybe a hint more just there now if anything does fall and it looks, starts to look a little bit messy just use a muji just to clean it up love mujis or foundation brush just wipe underneath clean it up only takes a second okay other eye make sure you do the inner corner of your eyes also i love eyeliner because if you do have quite fine eyelashes quite sparse eyeliner just kind of brings your eyes back so for those of you that have thick black eye lucky thick black eyelashes lucky you um but for people like me, like myself, that have got fair eyelashes, then eyeliner is great. I also have quite sparse eyelashes. Eyeliner is great because it just gives me a little bit more definition. I think maybe I wore too much mascara when I was 14. <laughs> and I'm paying for it now. <laughs> okay. Right, so my eyes are just starting to emerge. It's looking, they're looking much stronger. And um, I'm going to now apply my Bobbi Brown eyeshadow stick. Soft and wearable, has a really lovely texture. And this is called Nude Beach. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the socket line and blend with my finger. And this is just going to make my eyes a little bit more, a bit more smoky and give them a bit more definition. So just in the socket line here. And this eye, this um, cream eyeshadow is really nice because it's not too sparkly. Well, actually, it's not sparkly at all. It's not shimmery. It's kind of creamy. Um, but it goes on really well, adheres to the skin really well and um, just gives you some nice sort of contour. So it's still quite sort of natural looking. Anything too sparkly or kind of um, glittery on my eyes, particularly when you've got a few fine lines, is not the best look for me because it actually can accentuate any sort of fine lines lurking in there. So. I prefer to use something that is sort of matte but also kind of creamy so it's not too chalky on your skin because also if it's too chalky that's also quite aging and unflattering so you need to find like something that's a bit sort of dewy and sheeny. Sheeny is a good word. Okay and now the other eye in the socket line. So just in here. And what I love about these Bobbi Brown cream eyeshadows, which I have plenty of in my kit, is that they blend really beautifully. And once they're on, they're on. They don't budge, but they don't kind of dry your skin out like some cream eyeshadows can. They blend really nicely and sort of, sort of, sort of give you a sort of semi-matte finish. I'm going to use my Shiseido blending brush just to finish the look. There we go.
taking away any hard edges. So it gives you a little bit of a smoky eye, but kind of subtle, just a little something. Quite classic. Maybe a hint more on this side. There we go. Okay, so that's my eyes. And now I need a little bit of mascara. So first of all, I'm going to curl my lashes using this little guy. It is kind of a strange contraption if you've not used one before, eyelash curlers. Um, but they make a huge difference to your eyes, honestly. It will open them up, make them look much wider. And um, I don't know, I love that kind of wide-eyed sort of look. So this is how you do it. Just look straight ahead and then put your lashes in the curler and then squeeze like that. I'm probably putting a bit of a weird face here. Okay, now the other side. And actually, it makes an enormous difference, honestly. I can see a huge difference, and even on myself, you know, a person that has very sort of fine, sparse eyelashes, it actually makes a huge difference. It opens my eyes, and you might be pleasantly surprised. Okay, so now I'm going to use a bit of a thickening mascara by Buxom. It's called Big T's. I like that name. And um, it's a plumping mascara. I feel that my eyelashes need a little bit of help, so I'm going to go in there and um, thicken them up. Okay. Because I do like a bit of a thick lash. And um, I think with this look, it really works well because I love a little bit of a 70s vibe. So it's all about lashes. There we go, getting thicker. And then the outer corner. Oops, bit of a clump there. That's not so good. Let's get up. Let's get rid of that. Okay, gone. Whew. Okay. There we go. This is great, this mascara. If you're looking for a mascara that's really thickening, this is really good. It does. It really thickens your lashes. And um, I'm quite impressed by that. Now the next side, the other side. Okay, a tiny bit more mascara on the inner corner of my eye, just here. In you go. You know what, they are a tiny bit cloggy, but I kind of like that. And of course, if they get too cloggy, then use a wand like this and just brush through, just to sort of take away any bits that are a little bit too kind of sort of clumpy. There we go. Okay, a little bit on the bottom. There. And the inner corners as well. Okay, so that's my eyes for now. I'm kind of loving the sort of clogginess I'm getting there on my lashes. It wasn't intentional, but I don't mind a little bit of clogginess sometimes. It looks kind of cool. Okay, so now I'm going to use some blusher because I need a little bit of help. My skin is looking a little bit washed out and I feel like I need a little bit of colour just to bring me back. Okay, so I'm going to use Ilia. This is a cream blush, blusher, as we say in the UK. And it's kind of like, sort of like a pinky, rosy colour with a beige undertone. And it's really nice. I'm going to show you how. I'm going to dab it onto just the apple of my cheeks, just here. And I'm going to blend out with my finger. So the thing with cream blusher is don't be too alarmed at first if it looks very sort of pigmented. Um, because actually with cream blushes, they do tend to absorb into your skin quite quickly. So just go for it. Don't be too, you know, don't be too sort of put off. 
and then I'm blending it out with my finger to sort of give me a little bit more glow sort of taking it over my cheek oh I love this colour it's really nice I might do a hint more because I know it's going to disappear in a minute so just a dab more here we go gorgeous colour and um, that's giving me that lovely glow so I feel I look quite healthy now got a bit of colour in there a bit of sheen so last but not least I need a hint of something on my lips because they're very dehydrated I'm going to also use Ilia. This is a lip tint. I'm loving this because it's very hydrating. My, skips are, my, yeah, my lips are dry. <gasps> Can't even say it. And this is called Nobody's Baby. I'm just going to dab it on my lips. It has a nice sort of pinky, beigey colour. Kind of in keeping with the sort of the tones that I'm working with. So I'm actually going to powder my skin a little bit because it is looking a little bit too shiny here. And um, I'm going to use La Prairie Skin Caviar Powder Foundation, one of my favourites. It's super sheer, gives you some lovely coverage if you want to wear it just alone um, without any foundation. And I'm going to use this brush and just sort of dust my T-zone just a little bit because I'm not hugely into powder. Oops, I just scratched my face and made it red. So a bit of concealer on that in a minute. Okay, just in here. Tiny bit round here. So I'm still keeping the highlights. I'm not going to lose those. That's what gives you the lovely glowy, dewy skin. But just taking away that oily sort of T-zone, which isn't such a good look. And just a bit in here. So you can still see the dewiness. I've scratched my face, so I'm going to have to use a little bit of concealer. I don't know how I managed that. So I'm going to use my Iconic London, what I used earlier, just to sort of take it away. A little bit pink. Okay, so one more quick brush up. I'm using a smaller one this time, just to sort of... Make sure they're all perfect, everything's in place. And um, I think that's it really, this is the look. This is my kind of 1970s inspired dewy day look. Um, I hope you like it and I'll speak to you soon.